Welcome back, everybody, to the United Kingdom Speedrun Gathering Autumn 2021. We are here with our next run by the Sammy G. It's going to be Stick War Any Percent. Over to you. Okay, uh, what's up, everyone? It's me, Sammy. Um, welcome to Stick War Any Percent Normal. Um, so, there's quite a bit to talk about. That's why I'm doing a small intro. So, um, run begins as soon as I uh, pick the difficulty. So, five four three two one let's go time okay so right off the bat we're gonna do a trick called fast mining so as soon as the bag fills we unselect the miner so he turns around instantly and we need to mine an extra 130 to summon a sixth sword raft to help us with all oh, that's so bad that's so bad <laughs> okay it's okay marathon don't worry um, so we take control of these sword wraths because when we take control of sword wraths, they do triple damage and they have a little bit more health. And so the key is throughout the levels is we have to, um, uh, destroy the statue of the enemy base. And so that's about it. Uh, we were meant to dodge those, um, arrow shots. Unfortunately, we're getting really unlucky. Um... Maybe it's a good thing, it means it gives me more time to explain more mechanics in the game. Alright, uh, so that's level 1 done. Are uh, we- oh my god. We're gonna skip the upgrades, you'll find out why net later. And now we're gonna do a trick called the garrison glitch, where if we garrison, and then we select a unit that is behind the those spears over there, um, the enemies will completely ignore us, and this is very good for levels 2 and 5, because those levels are capped at 2 minutes and 2 seconds. So anything, um, over two, uh, anything under 2 minutes and 2 seconds, you won't save any time, so that's why it's perfect. It gives you a good way of guaranteeing that you'll do the level. So, after I kill these four here, um, 1, 2, 3... For the rest of the level is completely downtime. However, there's a few glitches I want to show off. So first off, um, as you can tell, the unit still thinks that there is a statue there. So it's just going to attack nothing. So um, I thought that was pretty neat. Um, also, notice the Sword Wrath. It has four different animations. It has that overhand animation. It has a stab animation a kicking animation and a baseball bat animation. The first two I mentioned, good, because they last 30 and 31 frames respectively. The longer animations last 53 and 61 frames. Anyway, the other glitch involves the Archadon. If I aim around here, wait for it. Okay, let me try that again. Please work. No, dude. Run of my life, please work, please work, please work, please work, please work, please work. No, dude, come on. It's okay, if it doesn't work, I'll do it on level 5, it's fine. There we go! It destroys a statue! Like, what? How? How does it destroy a statue? What? But yeah, I found that glitch out, because I was just mucking around, trying to find out a way to skip all this downtime. But, it, um, I couldn't find a way, but I thought that glitch was still pretty neat. Alright, level 3, I'm going to upgrade the foot three times, so now that increases my sword wrath speed. This is the hardest level in the game. Um, it's the level that I reset the most in world record runs. So now we're going to do a trick called the backstab, where I backstab and I one-shot kill. Usually that's not a one-shot kill. And now I'm going to stay in the center of the statue, because like I said, my unit is um, stronger. So I can tank all the shots most of the time. And therefore, it gives these lot the most amount of help to stall the rush. I'm going to look behind me so that I don't accidentally attack the unit. And I... Okay, close. Um, so that I only attack the statue with the, um, uh, with the sword wrath. Okay, good. No glitch. Alright, um... Spear turn. Now we have max upgraded sword wraths. So... This is the easiest level in the game. Um, level four, you do a very specific um, backstab setup. You wait till uh, Spitten's on screen, you go around him. Okay, well, slow animation, but still got the backstab. And then this level is a piece of cake. 
Um, and now we're not going to upgrade. So, level 5 is another level where, um, you're capped at 2 minutes and 2 seconds. So, I'm just going to do the garrison glitch and I'm going to hand it over if anyone has any questions, comments, donations, etc. Take it away. Yeah, absolutely. It's a great opportunity to uh, remind everybody exactly why we are here raising money today. Uh, so we are raising money to support Crisis, a charity supports people out of homelessness for good. They achieve this through education, training and support with housing, employment and health. Uh, this event, 90% of your donations will go towards supporting Crisis and 10% will go towards helping UKSG support future events. Uh, Crisis is a fantastic cause. They do a lot of, of great things for, for homelessness and uh, you know all your donations are massively, massively appreciated. So please get them in. Okay, um, if there's nothing else anyone wants to say, then I guess I'll explain the um, next uh, the next level, because it's also a little bit complicated. Um, yeah, so, man. Okay, cool. Um, so, on level 6, Magic Hill, we're going to do a trick called Juggling. So, as I mentioned before, when you take control of a unit, it does more damage. So, we're going to alternate between units. So, like that in a way uh you'll see you'll kind of see it in the next level um also um magic kills can stun so it's also very important that i stay on the bottom row because for whatever reason if you're on the bottom row it makes it as least likely as possible that the magic kill will stun you um also magic kill is very very bad not to beat first time because it can stun and because it summons minions uh, and those minions can cause a little bit of a hassle um but yeah right now i'm just uh practicing the lineup to um upgrade the um crown which will give me some extra um backup gold okay that was decent okay we're gonna fast mine for an extra 130 uh, like we've done so here and now we're going to um, move down a bit dodge the bullet move up bad animation all right good animation of the juggle and the animations that you get on the juggle kind of determine what you do for the rest of the level so we're gonna hope that we do the level first try so as you can tell here I do not get stunned so I'm fine. My units are screwed, but I'm fine. And that's all that matters. That's what I get for talking. Ah, <laughs> uh, that's really bad. Um, it's okay. Uh, I'll figure something out. No, dude. Come on, come on. Attack destroy the statue. Good. All right. Awesome. Okay. Uh, hold on. Uh, my... There we go. Uh, my... Uh, what's it called? My resolution wasn't consistent. Um, Partland is again a very execution heavy level. Only after I start mining do I summon units so that I can scroll, 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 scroll. Okay, uh, that was lit really early. I still got it. Um, and therefore now I have to hug the bottom, the top row, dodge a bullet, and then it's the same as level three where I tank shots. Um, I tank shots and that's about it. I hope to win. When the push comes, I have to keep looking forward because if I look backwards, right, um, it's very likely that my army will also look backwards. And if you have your back exposed, you take more damage. Oh, God. Um, but that time I looked backwards because, well, um, the enemy push was already distracted. So I got cocky and I thought I could save the time when I didn't. Okay, now we upgrade the mine once more. So now we only need to mine twice to um, fast mine. So we fast mine for an extra 200. And this level, there's really not a lot to talk about. Other than if you backstab this uh, spit in here, which I failed miserably, you're guaranteed to win the level. So I guess that's a pretty neat bit of trivia. Um, if anyone has anything to say, please do say it now. <laughs> uh, nothing coming in terms of donations, but if anybody has just uh, joined us, thank you for watching the United Kingdom Speedrunner Gathering. Normally we are a two-day speedrunning marathon held four times a year in Glasgow, Scotland, but due to the situation with COVID-19, we are bringing you three days of exciting speedruns from the comfort of our own homes to yours. 
Yeah, oh, no, in. no, no. That's bad. Uh, hold on. I'm actually going to restart the level. <laughs> All right. Um, so what I was meant to do is I was meant to summon a Spearton because I upgraded his spear twice. The Spearton has the highest DPS of any unit in the game. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to fast mine until um, I can no longer see the Spearton on my screen. I can't see him. I'm going to uh, retreat a little bit so that this giant can't attack me. And then if I hug the bottom row with my spear turn, I can <clears throat> just destroy the base. And this Archerdon won't attack me. There's going to be a push of another giant. It won't attack me. It's perfect. This is also faster than doing the garrison glitch. Because when you do the garrison glitch, the spear turn turns around a little bit and then has to move forward. So there's less distance to cover by doing it that way. And couldn't you guess who figured out that strat? That's right. Yours truly. Okay, that's pretty good. Alright, also, reason why we attack with the um, sword rats is if we kill the giant quick enough, sometimes we can... Uh, they can kill the giant quick enough that they do a little bit of extra damage to the enemy base and it just makes it a little bit quicker. Alright. Uh, level 10, this is the last ambush level in the game, so last level with uh, 2 minutes and 2 seconds on the clock. Um, I have to do kind of a specific setup here, um, purely because A, it's fun, and B, um, A, it's fun, and B, it's consistent. Because if I just use the garrison glitch, I, I have failed the level a few times, so... What I'm going to do is I'm just going to mine three times. You don't need to fast mine anymore. That's why I have the max upgraded bag. And then just build an army. Now, I have to listen out to an audio cue within the music. Um, so that, that will give me a cue to press attack and then win the level. In the meantime, I can just keep mining. You're going to hear a lot of mechanical keyboard noises. Oh, that was terrible. Come on, dude. Uh, shout outs to, um, what do you call it? Um, Water Flame for making, uh, this song. Unbelievable artist, like, Water Flame has made quite a lot of very good, quite a lot of good Flash game music, so shout outs to him. Actually, yeah, while I'm, uh, winning the level, I might as well give a few shout outs. Uh, shout outs to the day one guys, Dylan, Die Hard, Z uh, Die Hard Zelda, Ash, Peaceful Dawn, Furious Pyro, shouts to the Stickwall community, Sanguine, the world record holder, Ranch Dressing, who also helped me out with a bunch of these strats, also could be a day one guy. Shouts to Mart, B Man, and Spootsy for their hard work in the community. Um, and yeah, uh, next level is also a strat that I figured out. Conjectured by Ranch Dressing, so again, another shouts to him. And it also involves the Spearton. So, as I've mentioned, the Spearton has the highest DPS in the game. So, let's... Oh, no, I didn't mean to fast mine there. Um, so, I'm going to mine until uh, your boy is in front of the statue. I'm going to dodge subsequent shots. I, I don't want to get hit here because this has happened about, like, four times. On world record pace, um, there has been Archerdon that's come in the... Um, rush and it has one shot me in the back right on world record pace and from testing that is maybe a one percent chance of happening at full health so getting hit is very bad but this level is going well oh no oh boy uh yeah i got it okay cool all right last level in the game uh, desert, I can fast mine because I only mine once, so therefore fast mining is fine. Oh my god, summon units, dude. I'm choking, I'm choking. I don't have water as well, so I'm double choking. Um, so what I'm meant to do is I'm meant to kill the statue in a really specific way. So I destroy the statue and hope the Archadons don't kill my army. And then I have to wait for an audio cue in the music because there's going to be multiple pushes that are going to come out from the enemies and I only need to defend myself from one of them and I have an audio cue to uh, tell me that and it's this one here. 
And it's better to kill them now and uh, not get swept later <clears throat> than it is to, um, to not kill them la now and then get swept later. Uh, this is kind of a bad level. Oh boy. Come on, kill him. You can kill him. Useless. <laughs> Whoa! Oh my, what? I did not know that. Wait, what? There's a, there's a, 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 a giant boss fight? I, I was meant to call time. I was meant to call time. I did not know that there was a giant boss fight. What? No. Uh, okay. Uh, I, 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 I haven't, I haven't done this uh, fight before. Um, so I think, I think the best course of action is to use um, juggling. Um, I, I think. I don't know, it might it might be the best. It might be the best strat, I don't know. Like, like I said, I totally didn't see a giant breaking out of the uh, statue coming. Uh, I'm gonna call time when this giant dies, hopefully. Oh, I don't know, oh, I, we might go over estimate. Oh, it's so close, dude. Oh, why aren't you attacking? Seriously, dude. Oh, okay, yeah, three, two, one, time. <laughs> Okay, call time a little bit early there, but it's fine. <laughs> and that was stick where any percent normal was my final time. Oh, please don't tell me my... Uh, the final time that we have on stream is 15.41. 15.41, sub-16, all right. All right, let's look at the ILs quickly. Uh, level one was absolutely appalling. I'm so sorry that you had to see that. <laughs> um, 32, level four is pretty decent. Level 8 went well, okay, that's pretty good. Uh, two Minute Desert is kind of below average, uh, not very good. Okay, uh, thank you very much for having me, UKSG. Um, I have nothing more to say. Um, actually, no, that's a lie. Um, subscribe to my YouTube channel, follow me, twitch.tv forward slash thesamyg. If you want to speedrun Stickwar, go join the Discord server. It's on speedrun.com, and if this goes up on my channel, I'll put it, or if it goes up on the archive channel, I'll uh, put it in the comments. Um, yeah, watch the rest of the run. We have a bunch of runs coming here, live and only on ESA. That's all. Well, thank you very much. Uh, in the running for taking my job there, I think. We did get a donation towards the end of that run from awesome. Die Hard Zelda <laughs> for $5 saying, go Sammy G. So uh, hopefully you managed to channel that energy as you were towards the end of that run. Uh, thank you Zelda man. Absolutely... I really appreciate that. <laughs> Absolutely, thank you for every donation that we've received. Uh, this is actually my last uh, last game to be hosting, so I'm going to be uh, passing over to the next host after this. But we are going to be going back with uh, Pathicness, uh, running Maximo Ghost to Glory. That's going to be after this intermission. Thank you, everybody, for having me here at UKSG. Thank you very much, uh, Sammy G, for the run. Yeah, thank you and, for uh, hosting. we'll see you after this short intermission.